Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making fried mozzarella sticks the healthy way. Let's go. Okay guys, so you have your cheese sticks. All we're gonna do is cut them in half and we're gonna place them in the freezer. Why? Because if you don't, the cheese is gonna gush out. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but for the most part, you want them to stay in place so that you're able to dip them and do the cheese pool and everything um, yourself. I'm gonna cut these little guys in half, like so. So now we have them. Let's put them in the freezer for 20 minutes and I will show you what we're doing next. Okay guys, so we added half a cup of the pork rinds and half a cup of the Parmesan cheese. If you're not using pork rinds, then you can try almond flour. We're going to add addi additional seasoning by putting some garlic powder. I don't wanna add salt because the pork rinds and the cheese are do already have some salt, so um, we're gonna leave it as is. Okay guys, so we have two eggs that we're gonna lightly beat. You just wanna mix everything together. You can add some seasonings. Um, I would just do anything without salt because the cheese is salty, the pork rinds can be salty. Unless you're using almond flour, then um, I would just stick to garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and anything that doesn't have salt. Okay, so I just added about a quarter cup of almond flour. Okay guys, so we have all of our ingredients here. Um, we're gonna start off with our little cheese sticks that we did set in the, fr in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it into our almond flour. Okay, if you're allergic to almond flour, you can use coconut flour. Then we're gonna dip it into our egg. Okay, so your fingers will get a little messy unless you wanna use like tongs or something. Once it's dipped in the egg, we throw it into our pork rind mix. This is pork rinds and Parmesan cheese. If you wanna get super savage with it, you can just re-dip it into the egg so that you can get a super thick coat on it, okay? Then you just re-dip it into the... Okay, like so. Place one there and move on to the next. So, we're gonna do these same process until we have them all done. And I'm actually going to do, I'm gonna make half stove top and half in the air fryer for you guys. We're gonna get these little guys. We're gonna be careful, but see, I'm not being savage and using my fingers. So we're just gonna put five of these in here. So come take a look. Okay. And see, they're going in there. Okay. And we're gonna put them for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. So. We'll check back in 10 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna heat up our oil. I'm gonna start off with half cup of oil. If I need more, I will add a little more. And you can come in a little closer so that you can see these little guys. And I can't wait to compare them to the ones in the air fryer. All right guys, so here are our little air fryer cheese sticks. If you can see that. They did gush out a little, so they're much better than the first batch I made that I did not put into the freezer. But let me show you the ones that were stove top. So clearly, these little guys didn't gush out. They're, you know, perfectly in place and I can tell that they're super crispy. Okay, so it's not, you know, they're not terribly. Um, and they're made in the air fryer. So you use absolutely no oil, and I'm telling you, they're still gonna taste delicious. I'm gonna use a low sugar marinara sauce. So anything around four to five net carbs per half cup is great. Um, and you know, whatever you find that's just lower in sugar, because some can go into like the 20s. You definitely wanna stay away from that. So I warm mine up for about 30 seconds. So now we have some warm marinara sauce. These little guys right here were cooked stove top, okay? 
And then these little guys were cooked on the air fryer. So we're about to do a taste test. Okay guys, so moment of truth. We are going to see which one wins. Is it the stove top or the air fryer? Let's find out. Okay guys, you guys have to make these. So bomb, okay? Let's do a little fatty air fryer one. Oh my gosh. I could like eat this all day. Ready? These are really good, but I will say, stovetop wins. Why? Because the the crust is like the outer um, layering is super crispy, and it keeps everything in, and it just tastes like a real mozzarella stick. So I'm not saying you can't make them um, on the air fryer, because you know you might want to stay away from the oil and things like that. But if you're going for that authentic cheese stick, like you just want that cheese stick fix, I would definitely make them stove top. You're gonna get the crunch, you're gonna get the cheesiness, and it's gonna be delicious. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. Of course, give this video a big thumbs up. I'll see you guys. Mwah.